Hi everyone, this is Arcangeli. Welcome back to my channel. A very warm welcome to new friends. And I'm very excited today to have you in my doll nook. And it's exciting because I don't think I've ever shown this on camera before. So welcome to my doll nook. This is where I keep most of my dolls. Not all of them. Some of them are kind of scattered around in the display cases, but most of them hang out here inside of my house. So I have my Dolphy Dreams. I have a few of my smart dolls here, as well as a few of my resin girls in the corner as well. So the reason I have you in the doll nook today is because I like to share a new doll with you. As the title indicates, there's no surprise, this is Smart Doll's new Batgirl doll. And I'm very excited to share her with you, so let's get to it. So here we have the cotton canvas tote bag that all of these Smart Dolls come in. Uh, every doll comes in one of these bags now. So let's just open up and see what goodies are inside. So first we have a cardboard box, and this will have uh, all of Batgirl's accessories and next we have a postcard so this has Mirai on the front and on the back it has uh, just some warning and general care information about smart dolls and there's also a little Batgirl sticker on it I remember with my Supergirl doll that it had a Supergirl sticker and that's really the only thing that differentiates this postcard from some of the other ones that come with the dolls so next let's let us pull out Barbara Gordon so at the top of the bubble wrap here, there is a little sticker that says Batgirl. And I, that's just so Smart Doll knows which doll is which when they are looking at them all packaged up. And we'll take off the bubble wrap. And we'll also take off this plastic body bag. And we'll get a good look at Barbara Gordon. So she is a cinnamon skin tone. So she has a lovely warmth to her. This is the first doll that I've purchased in the cinnamon skin tone. I have milk, I have tea, but I don't have cinnamon. So this is a, a nice addition to my collection. So let's open up the box as well and see what else is in here. So on top, there's a pair of high heeled feet in the cinnamon skin tone. These don't come with Batgirl. I bought these separately uh, because I didn't get, I actually don't own high heeled feet in the cinnamon skin tone. So I just wanted to have a pair on hand. And next we have two pairs of option hands, which is really nice. And these are in this kind of mustard yellow. And next we have her utility belt and also her boots again in this mustard yellow. These must have laces somewhere because obviously they have to lace up. And next we have the wig. So the color of this wig is cherry which is a really lovely auburn color next we have Batgirl's cowl this looks really cool and finally we have her outfit so it looks like her jacket her trousers and her cape are all packaged together in here so we'll have a closer look at those in just a few moments um, I'm excited to see how this all comes together and finally we have a clickety clackety stand at the bottom as well there's also a business card in here from fabric and friends dolls i actually had to purchase my batgirl from fabric and friends and not smart doll directly but i'll explain that in a few moments so here's all of her stuff laid out let's have a look at everything let's start with her cowl so this is a solid piece in it feels like a matte finished plastic it's not painted, which is good. It's not going to be a stain risk. It is a little bit pointy, so keep away from small children. But this is a really, really cool piece. It's quite lightweight as well. Next, we have her utility belt. So the pouches are in plastic and then the straps are in leather. The main strap does undo with a snap of the back, but the small one does not. So just make a note of that. But this is a really cool looking utility belt. And we also have the two pairs of option hands. These are a squishy vinyl, uh, which kind of makes them easier to go on and off the wrist joint. Next, we have her outfit. So on the center of her jacket, there is the Batgirl symbol. This is the same yellow leather that's used on the boots. It's a, it matches exactly. And there's the snaps on the shoulders. This is where her cape will attach. And there are functioning zippers here. They are a little bit tight, but they do open and there is a tiny, tiny pocket. If I stick her fingers in here, you can see it's maybe three millimeters deep. You can't do very much with these pockets, but it's kind of cool that 
they are functioning zippers and functioning pockets. So this outfit or the top opens at the back again with a little invisible zipper. So that opens there and you can see the little pockets uh, from the inside. Now it doesn't unzip all the way to the top, which is kind of interesting. Next we have her trousers. These are very snug, slim fit trousers by the looks of it. They also do up with invis an invisible zipper on the side and there's a little hole in the back for the support st socket. So that's not uh, an error that's not a hole or any kind of damage it's there for the support socket and we have the cape next this does have a little trademark dc comics tag on the inside of the cape and again the snaps that attach to the shoulders of her jacket and next we have the boots so i've already laced these up the laces were stuffed inside of each boot that's where they were hidden and I've laced these up military style just because I like the this kind of ladder look uh, when they're tightened. And you can just pull one side. It's actually easy to adjust the uh, fit with this kind of military style lacing. All right, let's get her dressed up. So I'm going to start with the trousers and I'm going to remove her head and her feet because obviously these trousers are so tight fitting. They're not going to fit if I don't remove her feet. And you can watch me struggle with them for a little while. Now, as I said, I did purchase my Batgirl from Fabric and Friends in the US because I wasn't able to get her directly from Smart Doll. The Smart Doll drop was a bit of a mystery, actually. First of all, it happened at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here in North America, and I just happened to be awake at that time, but it released as a chaos bundle. It said a uh, Chiroptera Chaos, which is the biological name for a bat. So you looked at the price. And, you know, you put two and two together, people realized it was Batgirl. And then about 30 minutes later, the actual listing for Batgirl appeared on the website and she sold out in literally minutes. There was a slight restock of fraudulent and canceled orders, but that was it. That was a month ago and she has not restocked since. Now, I was able to get my Batgirl from Fabric and Friends, who are a US distributor for smart dolls. However, I paid a pretty penny. Batgirl directly on Smart Doll would have been 120,000 Japanese yen. On Fabric and Friends, she's 1,500 US dollars. So you have to factor in the exchange rate and the fact that this is a licensed doll, it's still a very expensive doll. A few moments later. So I have the trousers lined up to the support socket at the back and now let's just zip these up. They are good and tight and you can see that I had to do a little bit of wiggling to get these on. I had to do a little bit of twisting and pulling but here we go. We got the trousers on. So next let's put the top on. You can see it's a very snug fitting top so I'm going to take her arms off and then feed her in through the bottom. I'm going to actually take the sports bra off because it is such a tight fitting jacket. And it looks like I'm going to have to put the arms on separately. So let me take the wrists off. They don't fit through the wrist. So we're going to feed this through the shoulder of the jacket. So let's do the other arm and then we'll get the torso through and then we'll get the arms back into the shoulder joints. So this will be a little tricky because we're doing this blind. So you're going to be aiming the shoulder peg into the shoulder hole joint and just give it a push and then push both shoulders together uh, along the shoulder and then we can get those clicked in properly and then we can zip this up. So that's the jacket and we can put her hands back on but I'm actually going to swap out the cinnamon hands at this point and put in the yellow vinyl battle gloves um, because these will be part of her outfit. So just make sure they're nicely tight pushed into the wrist joint and then insert the wrist joints and the wrist peg into the arms. Next let's put on the utility belt so we'll slide this piece up her right leg and then the longer belt just snaps in the back at the top of her hips so that's nicely snug there. It's designed to sit perfectly low on her hips so that's that and next we'll get her feet on and we will adjust her shoes as needed. It's kind of funny if you look at the size of her feet and the size of the shoes, they look a bit like clown shoes because they're so big. But anyway, let's get these shoes on. A few moments later. 
Now, longtime Smart Doll fans will know that this Batgirl doll has been in development for over a year. So the way that her drop happened was a bit of a mystery. I mean, there was no hype. There was no lead up. It just happened. And just as soon as she happened, she was sold out. And on that same thought, I'm sure by now you've heard that the Warner Brothers Batgirl project has been cancelled, which is extremely unfortunate for everyone that was involved with that production. But I have a feeling, and it's just a suspicion, I don't know for sure, that perhaps Smart Doll felt something was wrong behind closed doors, which is why they hurried and ushered the Batgirl doll out before any formal announcement was made around about the cancellation of the Batgirl Warner Brother project. I don't know, but it just seems like this was such a strange way to handle the Batgirl release because there was no hype, there was no lead up. It was just like a 3 a.m. mystery drop on Twitter. So as I tie off the laces at the top here, I did have enough excess to wrap the lace around her ankles just once uh, with this military style lacing that I did. So next, let's get her head on and we can put her wig and her cowl on. So her wig, it's this beautiful auburn color and there are several fiber colors mixed in to give her hair a multi-dimensional uh, life lifelike kind of appearance. So I'm going to hold on to the part and then pull from the very back of the wig to get that on her head. And here's Barbara with her wig on. She's so pretty. And next, let's put the cowl on. So the cowl does have very big eye holes. So I'm going to pull her hair back so that it doesn't peek through the side of her eye holes. And we're going to slide this on just to see the alignment. And you can see at the top corners of the cowl that her auburn hair is uh, peeking through. So that's no good. I'm going to pull her hair back a little bit and reposition. And just slide that down and that's looking pretty good we're just gonna check that there's no hair peeking through the sides and that her eyebrows are lined up there we go she looks great so next let's get her cape on so again these just attach with two snaps on either side of each shoulder and once her cape is attached that girl will be all dressed and ready to fight some crime Well, here we have it. Here is Batgirl. I think Smart Doll have done a really beautiful job creating this doll. I love her cowl. I love the color of her hair. I love the outfit. Everything about this really just reminds me of the Barbara Gordon Batgirl character that I remember from the animated series I used to watch growing up. So I'm really happy to have her in my collection alongside with Supergirl. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And I hope you like this content. Please be sure to like and subscribe so that um, you know you get a heads up when I post something new. For old friends, I have been adding different things to the channel. I've been doing some figure unboxings and I have another Volks outfit review lined up for next week as well, just to add a little bit of variety because I can't keep doing doll unboxings. I'm running out of space. <laughs> I can't keep buying more dolls. So let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, what you're interested in, so I have some sense of what you want me to film next. Uh, until next time, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon.